YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, throw a like on this video, man. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I got for y'all today is, how do you feel about electrical vehicles? How do you feel about autonomous vehicles? Do you think they are the wave of the future? Well, they had a report come out today in the EU, which was the EU Parliament, stating that by 2035, they're going to be trying to get rid of all gas and all diesel. The Industrial Revolution is happening, whether we like it or not. We can choose to lead it. We can choose to do it in a way that is socially compatible with our values, or we can leave it to other parts of the world to lead it, and then all we can do is follow and deindustrialize. We need to rebuild our industry on the basis of the future, and the car industry can lead this if you vote for this proposal today. With them trying to get rid of all gas and all diesel, I feel like it's right now it's the driving force behind the fuel prices that we are currently seeing. The fuel prices that we are currently seeing has never been in this state for this long of a period of time. A lot of you all probably don't know, but last year, 2022, for the last three quarters of the year, we were in the red, which means that that the economy, the U.S. economy, is in recession. And if you've tuned in before, you know that we believe that Europe and China effectively have been in recession as well. So now a global recession. We're also getting a lot of indicators that prices are coming down. And I think this notion that the inflation that everyone has been worried about is quite a wrong way of looking at the world right now. Uh, we believe that deflation is the much bigger risk. We've been saying this for a time. We've been ridiculed for saying it. And we were challenged by those who were sure that we were back into a 70s style inflation scenario. This year going into 2023, it looks like the first quarter is also going to be in the red. With me saying all of that, do you think that these mega oil industries do you think they're ripping us off do you think they're ripping us off and do you think that they're taking us to the ringer if you look at commodity prices the gold price for example it actually peaked in august of 2020 and it's at the lower end of a two-year range while copper has broken down oil is breaking down lumber has crashed iron ore as well freight rates out there are suggesting that the supply chains are loosening up quite significantly the rates are coming down so we've got deflation in the system and the way i describe what's going on right now i was in my early days in my career in the early 80s when Volcker was taking a sledgehammer to inflation because it was embedded in the system after 15 years of profligate spending, Vietnam War, Great Society, and then going off the gold exchange standard. A sledgehammer, that's what he needed. That is what I believe um, Chairman Powell thinks he needs. And we just don't think that's true because we see so much deflation. And then one more thing, we also see a massive inventory overhang around the world. Um. I the only one that's seeing what's happening because it seems like they are steadily going up and the pay is steadily going down but anyhow I just want to bring that to y'all y'all let me know what y'all think hit me up in the comment section y'all let me know what y'all think how do y'all feel about this thank you for all the ones that have been subscribing to the channel thank you for the ones that's been donating to the channel thank you for all the emails thank you for the ones that's helping us to just grow period overall so with that being said we are oh,